What's up guys? So this here is my new 2024 SE Bikes High Polished Fast Shipper. This bike is brand new, cost me about $1,200 guys. Let's go over some of the key features of this bike. Let's talk about what's new, what's changed, what didn't, and all that good stuff. So let's start with the front of the bike, and we're gonna work our way all the way to the rear of the bike. Same style handlebars that they've always been using. I wish they used the newer style Big Ripper handlebars just because they're a little bit more taller, but these are the same handlebars that they've always been using. SC Racing grips. Should I cut them? No, I'm just kidding, I ain't gonna cut them. So the brakes that come on this fast shipper are the Tektro Auriga, also known as the Tektro M285. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of these brakes, but they'll do for now. They do come with front and rear hydraulic brakes. We have a high polished aluminum frame, fast shipper sticker kit, blue with the black outline, pretty sick in the sun, as you guys can see. It is not reflective, even though it does look reflective. It's not reflective. Two-piece cranks. These are my favorite cranks. They never let me down. You just gotta make sure when you build your new fast shipper, you put those washers that go in between the crank and the pedal. There's a little washer that goes in there. Always make sure your washers are in those cranks. If not, you're gonna destroy that crank and it's gonna be hard to find a new replacement crank. So make sure your bike shop or whoever builds the bike properly install these pedals that come with washers. But those are the cranks, two-piece cranks. KMC 10-speed chain, also a good product. The KMC chains are very good. Again, I've always ran their chains, never let me down. Shram GX 10-speed derailleur, as well as the Shram GX trigger shifter. So let's talk about the gear ratio on the bike. The cassette is an 11 to 32 tooth 10-speed cassette, and then we have a 32 tooth front sprocket on these cranks right here. It's got that SC lightning bolt C. It's a beautiful day in West Palm. Let's go out and take this thing for a ride. Ooh, that wind is crazy. Bend. If you tighten these too much, they'll bend on you. So definitely, definitely will have to change that out in the future. Bunch <laughs> of blocks in West Peasy, man. One handers on this thing are smooth though. It's so windy today guys, but look how nice it is in West Palm. I'm enjoying this man. I'm enjoying the West Palm Florida weather. But I know this ain't what this video is about. This video is about this fast shipper. Let's talk about the brakes. One of the reasons why I love the fast shipper is because honestly how fast they ride with the gears like they really just feel like a big ripper with disc brakes and gears i always said that since the first red one came out back in 2018. one thing i never liked about the fast shippers when you buy one is the brakes sc bikes come on we need to throw better brakes on here now don't get me wrong the tech shows are not too bad but they're a little noisy when you use them for $11.99, you could get a bike with good brakes. And these brakes, like, I don't know, just the the noise, like, the noise just doesn't sound too good. Get that smooth turn on that corner. So we're on my favorite bike trail with it right now. Get your box on the SC. SC bike's faster, bro. There's nothing really different on these fads from the previous years besides the colorway. You know that high polished. 
looks so good in the sun with the anodized blue rims and that blue and black sticker kit like that i would say looks clean that's a clean colorway on a bike but components and parts wise everything is pretty much still the same Love this bike though. Just chilling. Woo! Everybody looking at the GoPro like, what the heck is that on his head? Catch anything? Uh, podcast fit. All right, all right, all right. When I wheelie, I shift through my gears. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I'm coming to a slow, that hit it a few times, go down, and. Go to a higher gear and it makes it easier for the bike to wheelie at a slow pace. Now, if you're going fast and you want to speed it up, that's when you up shift and you catch that speed. The gears aren't bad, you just got to make sure they stay tuned up and well. Front brake check. Ooh. You're good. Ooh, and we still got that up. Oh, stop playing with me. Playing with me. It feels good to be back on the fast for guys, honestly. When my Gardo Gray fast stripper frame cracked, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda down. That was my only fast stripper. And I love fast strippers, man. I love them. Love the geometry of them. You know, you could do a lot of great things to the fast stripper if you throw some money into it. So the fast stripper have just always been one of my favorite bikes, but I feel like SC could have did better with some of the parts they throw on there. Let's talk about these tires, for example, the thick slicks. There's pros and cons to the thick slicks. Thick slicks are smooth tires. When I first got an SE bike, they had thick slicks on them. And I didn't know much about tires and stuff like that, but thick slicks are very smooth. They're very lightweight. I will say that. Good tires, but the cons to these thick slicks are, I feel like they're not good for swerving. People wheelie, they like to hit a little swerve, hit a little cut. When you swerve, you want that tire to be able to catch and not slide out. And I feel like thick slick kind of slide out when you push the limits on the swerves. Now there are people out there that know how to swerve with thick slicks if you swerve properly. If I were to change something right now on this bike, I would change up the thick slicks and I would put some Maxi's hookworms on there because I feel like that's what this generation who rides bikes, everyone loves Maxi's, you know? No one loves thick slicks. Not a lot of people you see these days riding fast slippers have thick slicks on their bike. And majority of the people who have these geared bikes are running Maxi's hookworms. Someone like me who likes to cut up fast and swerve and stuff like that, you would want to go with some tires that are going to grip. And I just feel like SE could have been, they could have done better on their tire choice. Thick slicks, I just feel like are dated. They should have came on Maxi's, but that's my take on the tires. Everything else on the bike is good. The seat, I love the seat. I love how comfortable the seat feels. It's very grippy. The combo guys don't really like these seats because of how grippy they are, but I like them. I'm not a combo guy, so my butt stays planted to that seat and I just like the grip that these seats have. Plus, I like the style. I also have that lightning bolt signal on the seat and I like that, so. Shout out to SE on the design of that. Overall, the whole colorway of this bike is dope. There are some things that will change. The tires, and for sure, for sure, the brakes. Blizzox. Willie's so smooth though. All right, I gotta be careful. There's a little baby walking up here. Back at it. I'm gonna hit this little turn. See how good my control is. I ain't been on a fast trip in a few months. Ooh, still got it. Hit this other turn. Ooh, still got it. Hit this other turn. Oh, I almost hit the trash can. Here at the beach wanted to come here and 
talk about the bike a little bit more and pretty much give my final thoughts on it again this bike is no different than the other previous year minus the brakes and the colorway but everything else on the bike is pretty much the same first things first i would change up these brakes all right the tektro they suck i've heard too many horror stories about these brakes all right so probably you guys out there break in these brake pads properly probably change the brake pads like i would change the brake pads to some full stops just to get a little bit more trust out of these brakes but definitely definitely in my opinion the tectros would have to go and i would swap them out for some shimano mt200 they're pretty much affordable and they work good for the for the money so you can't go wrong with some Shimano MT200. All my combo guys out there know what's up. The Shimano MT200s are some of the best brakes out there for your bang for budget. So definitely, definitely the brakes would have to go. And the next thing I will probably change is the tires, of course, like we talked about. Slap some hubworms on there, guys. The thick slicks are good communal tires, but for the ones out there that want to be swerving and cutting up fast and stuff like that, Thick slicks, in my opinion, are not the go-to tires. I would definitely throw some Maxi's hookworms. The stock fast rippers come with a 32 tooth front sprocket, and I would probably change that to a 34 tooth just to get a little bit more top speed out of this bike. The 32 tooth is good, but me, I like to pedal really fast, and I kind of feel like I'm running out of pedaling when, I'm, when I have the 32 tooth. So I'd rather have a 34 tooth so it's just instant go, go, go. Now, further down the line, for somebody who wants to dump some money into this bike, I would change the hubs on here and probably put some aftermarket hubs. I like the Hope Tech hubs. They're pretty loud. Engagement on those hubs are, are pretty good because the stock hubs, as you can see, it has a little bit of that lag play before you even hit the pedal. If you see, like, this sucks. I would change that, probably add an aftermarket hub, but for people who don't care about that, it's perfectly fine. But me, I would change the hub, probably put a Hope Tech hub on there, just to get a little bit more of that performance feeling. But overall, out the box, this bike is pretty, it's pretty good looking. Oh, and I would change out this seat clamp because these seat clamps are known for bending, especially at this part right here, if you tighten this too much. So go ahead and get you a good quality seat clamp. And if you guys don't like metal pedals, because these pedals are metal, go ahead and slap some plastic pedals on there as well. But overall, everything else on the bike is pretty clean. Also guys, please do not bring your brand new bike to the beach. Hardly one of the fastest way to ruin some bearings on this thing. I definitely just got sand up in that bottom bracket. And in other places, sand shouldn't be at. But now that we're about to close out this video, it's time to talk about something that I've never really talked about on this channel. And I've been getting asked this question a lot for the past probably year. Is am I still sponsored by SC Bikes? So about two years ago, guys, I got sponsored by SC Bikes. I want to say in 2021, the beginning of 2021. And it felt good being sponsored by SC. You know, I worked really hard to get that sponsorship pumped out a lot of videos, took a long, a long grind to get on the SE Bikes team. But it was getting to a point where a lot of things were going on behind the scenes, you know, a lot of drama involved. And, I, and there is a lot of drama when it comes to business, but just some unnecessary drama. And I just didn't want to be a part of that. So in the beginning of this year, 2020, 23, yes, I know I'm talking about this a whole year later. I decided that it was probably best if I just step away from all this drama. At that, me and SC wasn't really seeing eye to eye when it came to the whole sponsorship thing. I don't want to talk about it too much because it's literally been a whole year ago and I just kind of feel like it's old, but I just wanted to address the question is no guys, I am not sponsored by SC Bikes. I haven't been sponsored by SC Bikes for probably about a year now. And this being sponsored, I just didn't miss all the little BS that came with being sponsored. And I want to show people out there, like, honestly, you really don't need a sponsorship to have fun on these bikes. You know, as long as you're working and getting money, you can pretty much take care of yourself. And you don't want to have to like rely on a bike company when it comes to you know, them taking care of you. So I decided to just part my ways with SC bikes, but that don't mean I'm gonna stop riding their bikes. Here I am on my fourth, actually my fifth SC bikes fast stripper. So the love for SC bikes didn't leave, but I am no longer sponsored by them. So 
what does that mean? No more free bikes. That's pretty much what I was getting. Free bikes, you know, free flights paid for slash hotel rooms, but everything else I had to come out of pocket for. And yeah, it just, I just didn't feel like at this point it wasn't worth it. Plus you guys see all that stuff that went down with FC bikes in the beginning of this year. I'm not going to speak on it too much, but it's just kind of another reason why I said I decided that it was best for me to leave. Plus, like the bike market right now is probably not the best. You know, as far as bike sales go and bikes being so expensive now or the price on some of these bikes are dropping. Yes, I definitely could have waited a little longer to get my bike, but I honestly did not feel like waiting. So the bike shop had it in stock and I decided to pick it up. The love for SE bikes will never leave, but I just had to part my ways. Shout out to Todd, man, you know, giving me the opportunity to be a part of the SE team. You know, it was a great opportunity, a great experience. And for those of you out there grinding for something, just don't give up. Don't give up, keep going. You can do anything you put your mind to. I know there's gonna be some people commenting like, Stevie, explain why you really love and all that other stuff. I don't wanna get into the drama of it because that's not what I like to bring here on my channel is drama but I will say I'm just I'm grateful for the experience being sponsored by them so I'll never forget that I was sponsored by them I will never stop riding their bikes no matter who I'm sponsored by in the future you know I will never stop owning their bikes because I do think they make some good bikes some of the parts on the bikes could be better but they do make some good bikes I will say that so you definitely, you guys will definitely keep seeing SE bikes on my channel. But I just want to answer the question to all my viewers and supporters out there who are still wondering that didn't know because I only made a post about it on my Instagram. But I've kind of, I felt like it was finally time to talk about it on my YouTube channel. So let's go catch some more blocks. <laughs> When it comes to my chick, I'm straight Dirt bowl in a crew smoking cat See those at West Palm too often. That's why I didn't really. But we don't really ride now, I don't. Still gonna be riding their bikes, still gonna be showing love on the channel, still gonna be doing these bike reviews. So ain't nothing gonna change since the beginning. But yeah, just have to clear up the air with that because I know some of you guys been wondering. Comment down below what you guys gotta say. I'm gonna be reading comments, responding to comments. So if you got a comment, you wanna talk, chat, got a question, whatever, hit the comment section down below. to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you guys in the next one. We're gonna be doing some upgrades to this thing, so stay tuned.